Okay, um, let's continue with the rest of the scene. And um, I want, want to finish this part. And there um, won't be much to do there. Um, we'll just uh, make this a uh, little bit a uh, little bit more random again. So let's cut this a uh, little bit and make some adjustment so it's not so uh, so it's not so uniform. like that and maybe bevel some of these parts yeah, but before I bevel this um, I want to save duplicate separate and leave this part uh, for the later use let's call it rail and we can now maybe do some uh, bevel stuff and chip away a little bit yeah okay Right, and we can maybe uh, bevel the whole part here. Like this. And slide these vertices. So we have Yeah, let's do it with this one as well. Slide this all over here. So it um, actually looks like a stone. And right now we can repeat the same process as we did for uh, for the planks. And these can be stones. But you know what? Uh, the, it would really look more like a bricks. And I want this to have a stone feel a little bit more so yeah let's create plane scale it down so return of proportional I think and let's extrude this Collapse this a uh, little bit and make some uh, bevels. To really give it a nice jagged look. Okay. I think that will work fine and let's grab this a little bit down because when we snap it I want it to uh, go inside of the wall a little bit okay now let's enable face snapping around
Okay. And we can, of course, rotate some of these. They'll be fine. Okay, and sorry, and I want to use some of these here as well. We can scale them up. And use them as a floor. They're too big, so let's scale this down. Yeah, here and there doesn't have to be perfect. It's uh, all about creating that stylized look. finish the pier structure and I think for the purposes of this diorama and maybe it's time to make a plane in the middle let's switch this to increments and scale it to the final size yeah and uh, water level be maybe something like this. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Now I see we will need uh, a little bit deeper water. Something. Something like this. So. Yeah, we will need to and if we now select this, we can extrude it down a little bit. Okay, and there will be a water level and underneath the water level will be of course the sea floor. So, let's delete this, drag this down, or rather keep it where it was, and extrude down. Okay, and we can now hide this. subdivision and I will proportional editing and play with the shape of the sea floor a little bit some randomness as well. Mostly near the 
here. Okay. Um, this could work. Right, and now if we take this, we can make a water level. And I don't mind uh, creating these little islands there. On the contrary, I think uh, it could be a nice detail there. We are too high here. Let's have a look. Okay, I, I like this. Uh, there's a nice, nice little terrain there. But I want to, I want to bring this down a little bit. There. Okay. Okay, now for the pier, uh, it'll be just wooden planks, so we can use this plane actually, but I need to set the better origin. Okay, and we can divide this, you know the drill by now. Let's make a bevel. Not so much. Um, by holding shift you can slow slow down the increments. Okay, like this. And delete these faces. Let's extrude this. Okay, and we can cut this a little bit diagonally. Right now we can turn on that random fall off and have some fun with it. Okay, it looks fine. And let's get it closer. Like this. Now, let's delete this one. And let's make a link duplicate. And move it over here. Rotate 90 degrees and maybe make it a little bit smaller. And we have a pier for free. Let's bring it down. Okay, so uh, this is the. It's getting to the final layout right now, but I don't like the composition on this because there is too much going on here and nothing here. So I want to stray away from this and move this here and right now there is a much better room for the airplane it can be even uh, bigger a little bit and the composition will be much better bala balanced 
Okay, and one more thing. I forgot to finish this railing. So when we look at it, it's not much really. And you probably know um, what will happen here. And yes, you are probably right. Remove the faces and apply skin modifier. Yeah, and we can uh, decimate this one too. I really like uh, I liked how it worked out there. So let's try that point one value, but here it's too much. But point point one two should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but here it doesn't make any sense anymore because we we changed the layout. So let's do it to these two. And I think this will be okay, and we can even move this one a little bit. Oh, you know what? We don't have to. Okay, and if you look at the picture, here uh, these are just like a two planks. So let's make a plane. Cut it. Bevel. through those maybe make it a little bit more interesting by moving things around and yeah um, we can just add the one more plane here, merge at center, so we get a one vertex, drag it out, drag it out here, and extrude to make uh, this piece of steel that's uh, holding it together. Ah, oh, sorry, I went too far here. So let's make it like this. Okay, and let's shift D while in edit mode to make the other one. Okay, and basically um, there's no reason why we shouldn't join this, so Control J to join. And let's just move it in place. Okay, now uh, we need some supporting structure for the pier and those will be basically just some uh, wooden pillars, so it's really easy to do, just make 8 vertex cylinders, scale them down to approximate size of the columns go all the way where the seafloor starts maybe make it a little bit smaller okay and drag this out here yeah, so this will be the base um, for our column and let's just slice it up a few times and mess with it a little bit, but we can use a smooth modifier here. And make it a little bit non uniform. We can maybe scale this up here. 
and maybe bell that. Okay. And we can make it a little bit. Uh, so I really like how this turned out. So let's just duplicate it and we'll rotate it again. Sometimes it's enough to make one object and do a bunch of uh, rotations and other placements. And it looks like uh, there is a variation there, but basically Everything is the same object. I do it quite often because I really want to make this uh, in time. So, yeah, I'm quite guilty of being lazy and duplicating things a lot. Okay, now... You know, let's, let's like, do it like this. We can maybe rotate this here. This one can be a little bit different and we can even make some of this go a little bit deeper so now we have a nice variation that is the same object really and we can do the same stuff here but I want to shift to duplicate for this one because um, It'll be too much. Sometimes you need to restrain yourself with the uh, duplicates a little bit. And here it uh, wouldn't make any sense. So well, sorry. I Run the animation. Okay. And I like that, I want to do that here too. It looks more uh, like some natural wood cutting there. Right. And now basically the same. move this around and rotate some of these play with the height too so. okay this really starts to come together and I even really like the composition but we need to finish the sea which uh, won't be much challenge but yeah we need to finish the sign here so I need to select these two go to the object relations and make single user object and data selected objects because we will need to use this some more. Okay. And now if you look at the picture, they're going all the way up and there is just this uh, sign here. So, um, let's look from the front, extrude that, widen it up, maybe make a cut here, okay, and here it's, uh, 
very similar to what we already did. So just make it look a little bit random. Okay, close this up and bevel. And I want to make these cuts here too. And maybe it'll be a good thing to chip away here a little bit. face um, yes yeah, so let's delete this face let's connect these make a cut here let's make new vertices and then close this and we can the cut there okay now again um, I can delete this we can make a duplicate out of it right and for the sign I want really I really want to keep this easy because the time is we are running out of time I don't want this video to be so long, so yeah, let's just help ourselves however we can. Let's look at it once again. Yeah, okay. this one as well Okay, that will be fine. And for the curvature, it's a, there's a really easy thing that we can do. Let's go to the modifiers and let's select simple deform. Where are you? Here. Oh yeah, of course. Um, we cannot bend something that doesn't have segments. Um, sorry for that. Yeah, but I don't like how this is cut. Yeah, and this, that's basically because I probably broke the, yeah, I broke. Yeah, that's because of this. Because of that bevel. But worry not, um, let's just fix it with the knife. Cut through and now we should be able to do some cuts here. Okay, and one last thing to do, um, we need to rotate this. Um, 90 degrees. Move it um, out of the pivot point and now play with the angle. Yeah, you can move it around to see what best fits you. Uh, but I think um, this looks fine. And now if we rotate it minus 90. And move it up, uh, we have the desired result. So 
looks cool and we can slide these a little bit so we have that nice edge there okay so that's the sign now we just need some typography there hire for hire we can we can use just the default font uh, i i won't bother with search searching for fonts right now so, uh, the time is running out so let's just add text yeah and um, rotate this on x let's align on the center and vertically to the center let's make it smaller okay and we can edit it's it's higher okay and we will need to add some geometry so let's add some no not bevel sorry and we need to extrude this okay like this okay and yeah the text is curved too so there are basically two things we could do here we could try the band modifier or we can lay the text on curve here i will just position this um and don't worry about about the curvature right now and we'll see how that looks and I think it's not that bad and for the purpose of this illustration this will work fine right now we need to finish up some things so let's subdivide the water level a few times and maybe triangulate Let's add this, let's contract the selection and oh, maybe not and add this to a vertex group and we'll add that cloud modifier, that simple deform modifier with the cloud texture, sorry, not the simple deform, this place, yeah displace modifier let's create a new texture and select clouds and we'll just play with the strength a little bit and we'll choose the surface uh, vertex group so we don't have any artifacts and we can collapse this a little bit go higher here so it doesn't do any funky stuff here Okay, and maybe we can adjust this seaboard a little bit. Sea level. So I really liked how it went over the water. Okay, and maybe let's look at the texture itself. We can do like a really calm water there or make it uh, more noisy yeah. 
Um, let's leave it like this. Okay, and now I really want uh, some boulders here. So let's add one. And really, let's just make some simple stone. Sorry, that noise was my dog tripping on the stairs. Okay, so let's play with this a little bit, move it around. And give it like a more natural look. Okay, and let's make some battles. Okay, I think this will do for uh, some kind of boulder. And let's just scale it and place it somewhere here. And just all duplicate. To really create some random stuff here. We can hide the water for the purpose of doing this. well see this here uh, is a little bit too clean I don't know and what I see right away is that this can go much smaller like maybe even up until here And we could make the whole scene. Let's disable the airplane. Oh. Yeah, we need to hide the airplane. And now move everything to a scene collection. Now if we disable the airplane, we'll look from the front. We can select all this. Scale it up. So that we can move it here. And that'll be 
perfect composition in my opinion. Yeah, perfect. Now if we enable the airplane. Awesome. Everything everything works fine. There is a little issue with the airplane size by but we can work around it by rotating the airplane and placing it a little bit over the bounce but that doesn't matter really now I think we have a much cleaner composition and we can even move the buildings Sorry. yeah let's disable the airplane so it doesn't get in the way and let's move this here but I want these to move with it okay let's move this here It's a um, much better composition in my opinion. And we can play with the airplane however we want. Um, yeah, this won't work. So we need to rotate it like this. And that'll be okay. Okay, so I think we were able to put everything in place. I still miss something here, but I don't know. It won't be visible anyway that much. And we can maybe try different isometric view. If we delete the camera. And maybe create game camera. Yeah, okay. So there's a different orthographic ratio there and I really like this better and we can maybe save some pixels here by grabbing this down and this as well Okay. Now let's just do the materials. Um, I still have uh, some render settings from the scene before. So if you want to know how I did that, um, go go look at the first video. I think that will be best. Right now I'll just create uh, some area lights here.
and the other side too to give some fill lights. Here we can go hold less on the power of the light. Here as well. And let's add the plane, scale it all the way up to have a backdrop. Okay, and now let's just apply some materials. And we need to make them much brighter, so something like, yeah, something like this. Uh, the back background color can stay, it's basically the color of the world. I think it can stay as it was, it's like this. Um, mid-level blue color and we can modify material on this or rather assign, assign the previous material for the background And since I just deleted the objects, but the material stayed in place, I can apply those.
Okay, so this is it. And I will maybe play around with it a bit, uh, so don't forget to check uh, the final result uh, at the end of the video. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button or the bell button if you want to get notified when I release something new. Thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day.